Representative Trey Riddell gets caught with cocaine. Yes, indeed, it's true. Trey Riddell, um, who is, represents the 19th district of the state of Florida, which is on the southwest, southwest coast, um, was charged with cocaine possession in Washington um, last month, according to Politico. The 37-year-old Riddell, a Republican, um, who, um, who was found, who also pled guilty um, to basically misdemeanor possession of cocaine in D.C., um, at the Superior Code, he got caught with these drugs in DuPont Circle. So basically what happened, the AP is reporting that Riddell allegedly purchased the coke from an, under, an undercover DEA agent in D.C.'s DuPont Circle neighborhood. Later that night, the authorities came to his house and arrested him um, and charged him with possession of cocaine. Um, and so he will be going, he's not going to jail. He will be under, I want to say he's under house, he's under house arrest at this point in time, six months of House Arrest and Control Probation. Now, the question is, is whether or not he will resign his seat in the United States Congress. Now, he already has a tough race ahead of him in the Florida 19th District. There's a good chance that Democrats could take control of the seat. And will this help Democrats or not? The, the, the jury is still out on this. Now, this is not the first time that Mr. Riddell, or Congressman Riddell, has gotten himself in trouble. His old defunct company, Trey Enterprises, um, it's a media company, um, who, and by the way, this guy's a social conservative, which makes it even funnier, um, was got in some trouble for some domain names that they own that had sexual themes, including sexguideonline.com. Um, either way, we'll see what happens with Mr. Riddell. But this goes, this is proves, this is a part of the hypocrisy, and I love pointing it out when I see it. This is part of the hypocrisy in the Republican Party, because they want every person who gets food stamps or, or who benefit from the food stamps program to get drug tests. Because, you know, they're taking government benefits and should get drug tests. But shouldn't our members of Congress also get those same drug tests? Aren't they taking government benefits? Aren't they taking home a government paycheck? But clearly, some of them are on cocaine. America, if, we, if our members, men and women of Congress, want to put all these demands on poor individuals at home, then what they need to do is put those same demands on themselves. They go first, we'll follow right behind them.